this camera on. Hey, Leanne, you want to do that interview now? Is the camera okay? Yeah. Hi everyone, it's Hochi with TaiwaneseAmerican.org. I have a special guest with me today. It's Miss Leanne Lin, who is an Hello. internet celebrity as well as a former uh, host of Anime TV, and she's a model. And I'm so happy to be able to catch her here in her home uh, here in the Bay Area. So, Miss Leanne Lin, nice to meet you. There's <laughs> nice bugs everywhere. I'm trying to like know, wave sorry. them off. <laughs> but uh, we're so happy to meet with you. Uh, we thought it'd be great if you could share with our audience of TaiwaneseAmerican.org a little bit about your story because you're a proud Taiwanese American who's really been pursuing an interesting life in Taiwan recently. So maybe my first question for you is, how did you actually start with Anime TV? Oh, um, I worked with Anime TV for a year. I had a year contract there. I had to audition. So I heard about the audition through a friend who heard it from a friend, and I sent in pictures, and then, and then luckily I landed the audition. Um, so you were a, previously a model, right? You did some modeling work back in down in LA when yeah, you used to live there. I lived in LA for about five years, and I did some modeling, some little acting gigs, some hairstyling, and photography. And so, can you tell me a little bit going backwards in time how? you got into that path. Is that something you had hoped to do, uh, oh, going into modeling? Uh, yeah, it's, many girls have that dream. And I always had that dream, so I just thought I needed to go for it. Mm -hmm. um, so you were an art major actually in college, is that right? Yeah. yeah, I majored in art in college, and the modeling thing kind of goes along with a lot of artistic things, like hairstyling. I was a hairstylist too, hairstylist, makeup, style all goes together and then if you want to make a website it's good to have you know graphic design web design skills so you're just artsy creative all over yeah yeah kind of an artsy nerd so okay so going back two years ago you uh finally found your way to taiwan yeah it was and, about two and a half years uh -huh. ago yeah so i just knew i wanted to be in asia so just i just to just to explore just travel, to be more asian i felt like i was so whitewashed growing up in america not being able to speak mandarin which is my mom's language. I'm actually Chinese and Taiwanese. Mm -hmm. My dad's an ABC also. My mom was born in Taiwan, but she came here when she was really young. So, <laughs> so cool. I wanted to go back to the roots, learn uh -huh. the language and everything. And so I took a trip to Hong Kong, Tokyo, and Taiwan to see which one I'd like. I thought I would like Tokyo, mm -hmm. but I just fell in love with Taiwan. That's so and awesome. I just wanted to live there. That's yeah. so awesome. <laughs> so you worked for NMA for a while. And uh, now you actually are on, you know, doing your own stuff on YouTube, right? Yeah, I have my own YouTube channel. I'm doing videos about like some ABC humor videos with like little in Chinglish jokes, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Um, I have some Chinese tutorials, simple Chinese tutorials, and some travel videos, and some videos about Taiwan. That's so cool. You know, I'm really fascinated because uh, here in the States, um, not a lot of people know about you yet, but I feel like all around the world, there's a lot of people who follow you. You have on Google Plus over a million, is it a million yeah, and a half like followers or something like that? Over over a million and a half now. I don't even use Google and Plus. I don't even know how to use it. Yeah, most of the people are from <laughs> South America uh -huh. or India, like just all over the world. And that's so cool. And now you're starting this YouTube channel. So you hope to create some videos for various different topics. Yeah, what, hopefully what, what, what do you to hope? reach a big audience. Yeah, what do you and hope to do with some of that, I guess? Like, Mostly just self-expression. Uh -huh. <laughs> self-expression is, you know, artsy people, you have this need to do that. So yeah. I want to make people laugh. I want to teach people about Taiwan and about Asian culture. And I want to share my personal experiences too. Mm -hmm. And hope that I'll be able to reach people. That's so cool. And inspire people, hopefully. So Leanne, can you tell me a little bit about what it was like for you growing up as a young Taiwanese American here in the suburbs? Well, I'm half Taiwanese, half Chinese. Mm -hmm. I've always been proud of being Asian American. Here in the Bay Area, all the Asians are kind of similar. The ones that look alike are all kind of similar because we all kind of look alike to everybody else. So we all kind of, we don't think about, you know, I'm Korean and she's Japanese and she's Chinese. So, so for any Asian Americans who are doing well, I've always felt really proud, especially 
you know, like Jeremy Lin or something like that. It's so cool. He's done so much for Asian Americans, shown the world that we can play basketball too. Yeah, and so, you know, in, in real life, I know um, you've described yourself as some of a shyer sort of personality, a little quieter. Um, we oftentimes, oftentimes don't think about, you know, quieter personalities being the folks who are in front of the camera, and here you are doing it. Tell us yeah, a little bit about that journey. Yeah, extremely shy, um, but I wanted to do the modeling thing, so I just had to do it. And <laughs> when you see a model, you, most people assume things about her personality mm -hmm. and stuff like that but I was kind of the odd one, very odd model. And then being in front of the camera for NMA, doing stuff like that, it just really opened doors for me because it allowed people to see my personality instead of just an image. And I thought that was so important. Mm -hmm. I wanted to show my personality. And I was afraid at first. It's kind of scary to put yourself out there, but when you do and people accept you as you are, it's so rewarding, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's really cool to see you, you know, having this heart and passion for wanting to create something for yourself, you know, being an artistic person, and uh, and I think it's really brave to do it. You're doing a great job, and I, I hope your channel oh, does really thanks. well. Tell us about the tattoo. Oh, well, I'm in the mafia, so <laughs> so the dragon is a sign of mafia. Yeah. Whoa. No, seriously though. In Taiwan, they think I'm mafia, so that's why I don't get any dates. That's scary. And also, I'm not cute enough. Can't do it. What? We think you're cute. Okay, well, maybe not that face. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Leanne Lin. You could follow me at youtube.com slash heyleanne. There's a, a bug. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <you> <laughs> <laughs> Leanne's cool, check her out. But don't forget to follow us on TaiwaneseAmerican.org. We're also on Facebook and YouTube. Bye. Oh, I got All some right. poo in my shoe. I think I really did. <laughs>